Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and test the Round BC21 Digital Wireless Charging Alarm Clock. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is a Brown BC21 Digital Wireless Charging Alarm Clock. And here are a list of its features. And taking a look at the back of the box. There's some product information about this brown digital wireless alarm clock with integrated fast wireless charging pad. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by of course pulling out the tab that's keeping the box securely closed and lifting up that box flap. Now taking a look directly in the box, we start by removing the contents from it and setting them on the tabletop. So just sliding the entire contents from the box packaging out of this brown BC21. wireless charging alarm clock, just making sure everything has been removed from the box packaging and setting the box on the left hand side of the frame. So there is an inner white card box. And of course, the digital wireless charging alarm clock. So setting the contents across the tabletop so you have a nice clear view of the items or contents from the box packaging. So let's start off by first taking a look at this booklet or user manual for the wireless charging alarm clock. Just showing you that thickness there. Let's take a look inside. And let's continue to flip through the pages of this user manual. So it is a multilingual user manual. The other pages appear to be in other languages. And so on and so forth. Okay, so that's the user manual for the Brown BC21 digital wireless charging alarm clock. Let's set that user manual on the right hand side of the frame and moving on to the next item. So there is this white card box. Let's open it up to see what's inside and remove the contents. Okay, so it looks to be a power adapter. Let's set it down, of course setting that box to the side and taking a closer up look. Let's remove the contents from the packet and of course recycle or reuse the packet thoughtfully and giving you a look at the power adapter. So this is a British or UK three pin plug and it does have a USB type C connector on the opposite end. So try to get the camcorder to focus right there, maybe right there, and just giving you that close up look. So USB-C, as you can see right there, is the connector end of this power adapter with the British three pin plug. Okay, so right there, giving you a nice full view of the power adapter and of course undoing the cable tie that's keeping the cable nicely packaged. So I can show you the cable length of this power adapter with its power cord of course that leads to that USB-C connector. It's been a while since I messed around with power cables, but here we go, showing you the length right here as best I can, trying to unwind this length of K 
table. So, okay, so giving you a full view of the length of the power adapter cable that comes with this brown BC21 digital wireless charging alarm clock. So right there, very decent length of cable. So setting that power adapter down on the table somewhere, if I can find a nice empty spot without it being too distracting to the foreground. So right there, keeping everything in view if possible. Okay, so moving on to the alarm clock itself, let's slide it up from its bubble wrap packaging. And setting it on the tabletop and of course reuse or recycle this bubble wrap bag or pack it carefully or thoughtfully. And over here, we're looking at the alarm clock in a clear plastic bag. Let's slide it out from it. Once again, nice to see that it is another recyclable bag, so you can always recycle or reuse that thoughtfully. So now taking a look at the main item itself, which is the alarm clock. So you can see that it does have a nice sleek design with that angled display. So just setting it on the tabletop so you have a nice clear view of this alarm clock before I start handling it. So giving you various aspects to this alarm clock with that angled back or sloping back display. And of course the integrated 10 watts T enabled fast wireless charging pad located on the rear or back of this alarm clock or clock or digital clock. So right there, giving you that full view of the entire aspect of this digital clock with alarm feature. So it does have a VA or vertically aligned LCD with of course a digital time display and just giving you close up looks. And actually before I do that, let's rest the clock in my hand to give you some idea of the size and scale. It's right there. So it does have a 14 by 14 centimeter base. So it is a rounded square base. So I'm gonna put my hand on top or somewhere as best I can to show you and give you some idea of the size and scale of this alarm clock with that integrated fast charging wireless pad or fast wireless charging pad and taking a look at that front VA LCD. So vertically aligned LCD for a crisp display and taking a look on the underside of this alarm clock. You can see that there are four round and very supple feeling silicone pads or feet on the underside. I'm just giving you a closer up look there. So there appears to be a battery compartment right in the front middle or center of this alarm clock and taking a look towards the back part of the base. There are some certifications there and specifications as well. And taking a look at the other aspects of this alarm clock. So I think I need to shift the adapter to the side while still keeping it in frame it on the right hand side so that we can take a much better look at this alarm clock. So shuffling the items in the background slightly but still keeping them in frame. So right there giving you once again another look at this brown BC21 digital wireless charging alarm clock. So right there straight on head on view and of course the various aspects Rotating it, rotating it or shifting it bit by bit so you can see the various parts.
parts of this alarm clock or sides. Okay, so nice full view and this is where you can really see that angle of that LCD. So okay, so the brown BC21 slimline digital clock with that integrated 10 watt fast wireless charging pad which, which is T enabled. I take a look top down as well. So there is a button at the top with the alarm on off. So let's get it in the right orientation so we can see everything in nice good detail. So there is a protective film layer at the front as well which I'll peel off in just a moment but just taking a look as it is the various angles and aspects. So 14 by 14 centimeters so it is a square base as I mentioned that rounded square and over here in terms of material it is a very very nicely designed wireless pad with a very hard silicone surface for durability and of course for temperature resistance as well. And there's a text on it that says charge. And taking a look at the sides as well. So directly at the back of the display or LCD, you can see that there is a switch at the back with the alarm time 12 slash 24 hour and brightness. So it does have an auto brightness adjustment as well. And there is a reset button as well at the back to reset the clock. And on this side, there is a plus and minus rocker switch or button. So, okay, so those are the various aspects of this brown BC21 digital wireless charging alarm clock. It's right there, another view or angle of this alarm clock. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up that battery compartment first. So just using my nails to see if I can unscrew that battery compartment by turning it anti-clockwise, perhaps not. So let's bring about a coin to turn it. And maybe not quite enough. Let's turn it some more. And okay, I'm not quite sure what's happened there, but I've removed the protective battery tab. And there we go. Taking a look in the battery compartment, we can see that there is a Maxwell CR2032 button battery in there, or round battery. Okay, so let's put the battery cover back on now that we've pulled out the protective tab and taking a look inside, let's turn it clockwise to retighten that battery compartment. Okay, and next let's plug in the power. So that was the protective battery tab, just putting it to the side and of course plugging in the power. So at the right at the rear of the BC21 is a USB-C port. So just giving you a look right there. Let's plug the connector in. 
setting the clock down and of course giving it a power supply by plugging that power adapter into a power socket and flipping that switch and there you see it come to life with that very crisp and large VA LCD so you can see that nice white time display there and of course it does display in 12 or 24 hour format depending on your choice and take a look at the back as well and let's slide that switch into the various positions by moving up one at a time just to see right there so giving us a choice of 12 or 24 hour format and the next position up looks to be a time setting state for mode and right at the top is the alarm setting mode i believe so let's double check to see where that position is of that slider switch so right at the top yes it does align with that alarm label so alarm time 12 to 24 hour or 12 or 24 hour and brightness adjustment so let's have a look um, and before that let's peel off the protective film to see if the actual surface of this front is right there no real difference with the film off in terms of the clarity but obviously the shiny reflective surface is now more prominent so nice high shine surface very glossy right now with the protective film peeled off so giving you a look right there so very very high clarity and definition with this vertically aligned liquid crystal display so VA LCD right there giving you that look in the different viewing angles as best I can so very sharp and legible display there so sending it down and just giving you a look as it is for once just stood still on the tabletop now taking a close-up look once again and let's press that alarm on off switch and or button at the top so it does pop up as we can see instead of sitting flush at the surface or top as we saw previously and you can see that there is that alarm bell icon in green showing up now and if I press that down it does disappear it's right there on and off and I think snooze might just be a case of simply touching or tapping on that button without pressing it or depressing it fully Okay, so let's set the time and check out the alarm clock sound. So it does have a crescendo uh, alarm ring. Let's set the alarm. So time for the alarm is 12 o'clock. Let's advance it to 2.06 and see and check it out. So alarm is flashing. Let's press on the plus button on the side. And it seems we might need to cycle through the hours as well, but it does so very quickly. And actually, I've missed it already. So 206. And there we go. And let's slide it back to time. And we can see that the, oh, maybe not time, but slide it all the way down to the auto brightness adjustment. So setting it down, let's check it out. So it should ring right there and we can hear the crescendo as it 
increases in volume. So that is, well that appears to be the maximum ringing noise, or alarm, let's tap on that button, so that will give us a 5 minute snooze. Okay, so we just heard the alarm go off on this Brown BC21 digital wireless charging alarm clock. Let's check out the actually the auto brightness feature. So I believe that that is the light sensor at the back. Let's have a play with it. So let's cover it up and see what difference it makes. So right there at the darkest mode, fully covering that whole, um, that light sensor or light meter at the back, you can see that the display has gone very, very dim and just slowly backing my fingers or hands away. So right there, you can see does respond quite nicely and instantly with that light change. So if you do flip the switch in your room, it will respond accordingly and instantly. So nice sharp display, that VA LCD. Now let's check out the wireless charging feature right there. So I do have a Sony Xperia XZ3 Android smartphone, which I've unboxed on the channel before, and it's in the Blinks carbon fiber effect slim TPU case, which I've unpacked on the channel before as well. So you can always search for those videos on this YouTube channel or through YouTube itself. Let's just take a look in the phone and that's just fine. And let's set the phone down onto the wireless charging pad and see if it does charge. So okay, so nothing appears to be happening right now. It seems like the phone doesn't appear. There we go. So right there, you can see that screen light up and they've detected each other. And let's see that note there. So wireless charging cannot start. Please check the following items. So that's just fine. So let's set it back down and see if we can get it to charge. So I think positioning is key here trying to get it to charge. So right there, it is now charging, but obviously it is in a very peculiar orientation. Let's see if we can get it in a more sensible position or orientation. So okay, so that seems fine. You can see that the status indicator light on the top left hand side of the phone was red to show that power was being supplied. So right there, I think it's more or less found its place and that charge is being provided. So 9% is showing on the remaining battery capacity on the phone. Let's see if we can place it on the wireless charging pad. So right there, no issues there. So I'm not quite sure initially what it was. Perhaps maybe didn't like that orientation quite so much. So as you can see me shifting around, just trying to get a nice, good placement of the smartphone on the wireless charging pad. So actually, no, no issues there. Once we figure out the kind of spot on the wireless charging pad.
and familiarize ourselves with that positioning. So right there. Having the smartphone positioned as best I can. As you can see right there, obviously that's not an ideal position and so it wasn't charging, so that's just as well. So let's try and get it nicely lined up again. So right there, as long as we position either sides of the phone to be nicely balanced across the wireless charging pad, we're fine. So basically centralizing the phone onto the pad itself at the rear of this brown BC21 and it should charge just fine. Let's try and get it to that spot again. So there we go. So more or less a central or slightly off-centered charging position to work with this Sony Xperia XZ3. Obviously, other smartphones may differ or vary in terms of the perfect positioning to get the T-enabled fast wireless charging working. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what happened with the snooze. Perhaps I need to understand the snooze feature a bit more, or maybe it is the minus and plus adjustments on the side that actually snooze the alarm clock. So we can always read up on that separately and at our own time, but it does provide a five minute snooze interval. Now let's have a look actually with the adjustment set or the switch slider switch set on the brightness let's play around with the minus and plus buttons to see what happens so we can actually manually adjust the brightness right there and let's see how many levels there are so i've just tapped or have or have tapped on that plus button many many times so this all appears to be at the maximum brightness setting let's tap it down to see how low it goes or how dim it goes. So pressing now, one, two, three. So four brightness levels all together. This is at the lowest setting right there. So quite dim. So going up, so there should be three presses to reach the maximum brightness. So this is level one, level two, level three, level four, and four is the maximum. So four, brightness modes or brightness levels all together, as we've seen just there. And just pressing and holding does not change. It needs to be tapped one at a time, one steps to get that brightness adjusted or suited to your requirement. But obviously there is that sensor auto dimming or auto brightness sensor at the back that reacts accordingly as well. So we can always slide that away. So also there is that 12 and 24 hour feature as well. Let's check out the time in that display, but obviously it is 2 a.m. showing on the clock. So let's change that clock setting and look at the different times that will show on this clock not seen the front digit light up yet. So let's get there with perhaps a double digit time. So right there, 10 o'clock, 11, 12, and we're in the 24 hour format. So obviously showing different, different times. And let's adjust that alarm as well. And let's hear that alarm ring one more time. And just letting it run, run, run until we reach 17.53, perhaps. Okay. 
And just to show you that 24 and 12 hour display as well. So right there is the 12 hour format. And there is the 24 hour format. And let's hear it ring in just a few moments, but let's set it back to the 12 hour format and it should ring any second now. And let's tap on the side button to see what happens. So that does not affect the alarm clock at all. And let's tap on that button at the top. And that should snooze it, but obviously we tried that before. Perhaps I didn't do it quite right, or maybe it doesn't snooze it that way. But nonetheless, always refer to the user manual because it does feature a five minute snooze interval. Okay, and to turn off the alarm clock, you can see pressing it down fully does take that alarm icon indicator away. And to re-enable it, obviously, pop it back up by pressing it again. And let's check out the smartphone and how much battery there is now. So there is now 15% capacity compared to 9% when we started messing around with that wireless charging pad. Let's place it back down and hopefully right there it is detecting and resuming the charge. Okay, so for some reason it did not detect properly right there. And there we go, right back on and happily charging away. So that's the Brown BC21 Digital Wireless Charging Alarm Clock. Thanks for watching and happy ticking!